Hello and welcome back to France. Last time we were thinking about starting to cause some uh, some trouble, I dare say, in uh, India. Also, we'll most likely go after Agon on this episode, try to uh, try to take them down. But for now, we have uh, we have some other things that needs to be dealt with. First, there are some uh, rebels here. There are well, uh, still a bunch of troops over here. So we'll just uh, start this off by seeing how how this battle goes. As I said. Well, we're actually on the losing side, it seems. Nope, we won. And luckily enough, there are something wrong with these numbers here. Which is kind of surprising. As you can see here, apparently a battle that it started, uh, or starts at the beginning here, shows the extreme wrong amount of numbers. 100, no, wait, 1.409. So yeah, I'll simply screenshot this, I think, simply for future reference. But it's uh, definitely a very, very weird bug. We also have minus horses in the beginning here. So yeah, we'll have to see how we'll deal with that. Alliance of it from Aachen and the Palinate. Uh, neither of these I think will actually go ahead and uh, I think I can always try to get uh, the Palinate. Don't think I can actually vassalize them though. So we'll have to see how we'll deal with that one. Uh, no. Uh, French military power, trust, diplomatic reputation, attitude. So I could always try to bro well, at least get the attitude up and see what we can do then. Offer from Mevat, nope, you are to be annexed, nothing else. So yeah, we'll try to keep our troops here and check, see if we can uh, if we can win this or not. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pull through. So I'll deal with this, then we'll declare war on Aragon, I think. Well, I think we can actually just do that now. And uh, hopefully that'll um, be a victory for us. We need to at least snatch that colony back. Or we'll just snatch the colony they have. Is probably the the better way of saying it. So uh, I think I think I have enough troops in the area. So we'll simply keep these guys over here. If Hungary and Brandenburg joins in, we'll have to deal with them as well. So for now, the clear war on Brandenburg. Nope, not Brandenburg. These guys. I think we'll go for show superiority. Uh, doesn't make, really matter. Take Pyrenee. No, not we won't actually take anything. I think. Uh, we might actually force them to release Castile and then uh, peacefully vassalize them. That is a very good possibility. So we'll go ahead, declare war. And let's see, I should potentially get one of the generals that I have over in the other area to help out here. But for now, we'll be marching on the Aragonese and see how see how this turns out. So once we actually get an interesting battle, I'll uh, I'll get it. I'll show it to you. As you can see, Hungary and Brandenburg even Venice join in. So uh, we'll have some fun with them. Aragon is war leader, but even so, we will most well. That's the trade map, not what I actually wanted to see. But uh, as you might imagine, we will be going for release of these three. We'll also be going for release of here. So I should potentially have finished up the war with the Timurids first, but uh, even so, we are just um, basically fine here. We'll be uh, we'll be moving our troops over here, try to siege, try to keep everything under control. So yeah, I'll have a couple of theaters to keep my eyes on, but I think I should be fine even so. So I'll be fighting these wars. If there is something in, some interesting battles, I'll show you. As you can see here, we end up with about 80,000 troops versus the Aragonese 25. So uh, we're pretty much fine. I'll also be trying to get my fleet into position for blockades and uh, such. Most likely go after the... Uh... Are you guys going after my... Yeah. I'll be sending these guys to try and... Uh, well. Hunt down the enemy fleets should be just fine. So we'll see how it turns out. But for now, I'm pretty sure it'll be a uh, silent victory. It'll be a little bit more difficult in this area, though. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out here too. Now I should potentially have a general, a free general over here. Nope. Where the hell is that guy then? Yeah, he's actually in charge of this army. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be sending these guys into Hungary. Hopefully, try to forcefully release Croatia. And then we'll peacefully vassalize them. I think that's the way to go here. And also I'll force them to give up the Bosnian provinces here. So uh, with that I think I'm done with uh, with Bosnia and we'll annex them too. There are basically too many vassal vassals I will end up having if I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't actually have any access nation or access center anymore. So it's just uh, unions and, uh, and vassalization. So I actually have to start working on integrating them. But I'll be fighting this war and then I'll get back to you. We can actually do an increase in military attack, and of course we'll do so. Military attack is plus 0.5. Uh, we now have new units as well that we will be putting into use after this war, unfortunately. We can also build a war college, which I think allows me to have an extra general if I'm not completely uh, mad. 
Let's see here. Yeah, leaders without SQ plus one, the alien army tradition, so we'll most likely save up money to get that one. But also we have, <laughs> I should potentially have shown you, but the Argonese army has been dealt with, so all that remains now is sieges, so we'll get that underway. We also sent some troops here to start causing some trouble for, well, the Hungarians, the uh, Brandenburg, basically everyone else. So with that in mind, we will also be starting some uh, some sieges in the area. And hopefully we'll have enough money to uh, to pull through here. But I'm pretty sure we have. We'll also be sending uh, 10,000 men down to... Uh, I think I'll actually wait with that since I want to release count uh, countries and such. So yeah, we'll wait with that and... Uh, yeah, we'll continue that. I'm also waiting for the, the transport fleet to get down here so I can send people down to the Argonese Argoni province here so I can seize it. And we're still waiting for the last uh, province of the Mevat to actually get done or to finish the sieges. It would seem that the Timurids are... no, they're actually... it's actually Corson. Wait a minute, is this also a... Yeah, both of these are actually Afghan provinces, that's great. So uh, hopefully, as I said, we can vassalize uh, Afghanistan as well, and we'll see what we'll do in this area. But for now, we'll simply try and finish the sieges and see see what we decide on. So uh, we'll just continue and uh, keep on going, I guess. It seems that I just messed up and uh, did some a lot of talking. If I did, uh, or if the recording is silent up to this point, oh, I am sorry. I might have messed up the pause order schedule, but as I was saying, we have dealt with Aragon, their troops are gone. We'll be starting to deal with Hungary and the Brandenburg troops. We'll aim at releasing these three here, uh, vassalize them. Same over here, release Castile, vassalize, uh, hopefully. And we'll also try to get England, uh, you know, Wales, uh, Pomerania, Brabant, uh, basically everyone, Poland, integrating the people that no longer really serves any great purpose. To to basically loosen up the diplomatic uh, poss possibilities. We'll also go after Afghanistan, so we'll be far over the limit for uh, for quite a while. But again, if I have just uh, said the same thing twice, I apologize. Hopefully I uh, won't mess up again in the future. So I'll just go ahead and end this war. As you can see, this war is virtually over. We have sieged basically everything in uh, Aragon, or Aragon is completely sieged. All that remains is get, uh, get the deals I want out of Hungary. And that is basically that we give Bosnia these two and the release of Ragusa, which will uh, free these three provinces from uh, from their grasp. Uh, when it comes to Brandenburg, I still want them to release these three. And Argon release Castile and basically uh, nothing else should be just fine. Uh, Sofia will just have to remain, uh, well, Ottoman for now. Or sunny. We'll have to get our troops down there once this war is over. I will, I think, have those 10,000 men stand down there simply as a. Uh, well, apparently these guys are being a little bit annoying. I'll simply burn down that colony because having too many of them will bring me down in terms of uh, money. So, uh, well, screwing over some colonies should help. And also, if I can vassalize them or something later on, it will be basically the best thing I can do. The Timurids are in trouble too in this war. Thanks to the fact that uh, the Muscovites have joined in. So I'll simply be sieging Afghanistan now, get what I want, and then we'll be uh, on our merry way to uh, to try and, well, screw them over a little bit more. But as I said, we'll have to deal with, uh, with these guys. We'll be dealing with, uh, first of all, the Argonese, and then we will be, uh, be dealing with uh, or the Hungarians, the Brandenburg, everything, and then we'll be done. We are a little bit behind schedule in terms of we should already have finished these wars, but even so, it's not that big of a deal. And also, apparently, when you now have finished a siege, uh, you still gain attrition probably because of the offensive ideas, so I have to remember getting these guys out of provinces before they, uh, before they succumb to attrition, basically. So, uh, with this, we'll see, how, we'll see how things turns out. There we go, the siege of... Uh, Afghanistan is over, we have taken both the promises. With that, we can, of course, uh, actually force the vassalization. Uh, people around the area will hate me, but uh, not even close to what it would have done if this was Europe. So, uh, I can live with that. We'll be, as I said, siege course done now. We'll hand that over to Afghanistan, and then we're basically done with this war as, uh, as well. So, for now, kill off the, their troops is potentially the best thing I can do. Hopefully, the Afghan troops will... Well, have you guys? Well, you guys are actually running. 
Hopefully the Afghan troops I said were going to go up in siege, but apparently they will not. So we'll do this instead, send those guys to siege. These guys will win uh, because of my, my general, more or less. So uh, with that, we should be able to, yeah, cause them some, uh, some trouble here. And hopefully we can just defeat them. We'll also have to deal with... Uh, with these guys. I don't want to annex these guys before we are actually uh, more or less done with war. But uh, once we're done, we'll, uh, we'll annex them and everything will everything will be good. Also, I don't actually have to worry about these guys getting some new troops thanks to uh, thanks to the Muscovites fighting them. So I'll be sending my fleet back up now and we'll be dealing with uh, dealing with the the um, the sunny zealots. But as I said, I'll burn down this colony rather than take it myself because well. It's expensive in, in the long run to have too many colonies. Actually, I have to turn down the cost. As you can see, it's very expensive just turning it up a little little bit. So, uh, in peacetime, we'll probably keep it at full. Otherwise, I think we'll try to keep it low. But uh, we'll have to see. Also, apparently, these guys are just running around giving exhaustion to each other. Which is not good. Also, we are sieging Brandenburg here. Let's see here what uh, if I can actually force some, uh, some deals here. Nope. You'll release Mason. Yeah, I'll actually, I'll actually force them to release Mason. I'll uh, I'll have them hand over everything. Uh, I think I can vassalize them though, since I released them and so forth. So hopefully we'll we'll see how that turns out. But I'll be making peace once everything is uh, is settled. I think. There we go. One of our colonies has become a a core, not a core, a full fledged colony. Uh, where the hell is it? There we go. Over extension zero, we'll make it into a core. I should potentially do it with all these also once they're actually done. Apparently this one is fairly expensive to make into a core. So uh, we'll have to see how we'll deal with that. But for now we uh, will finish these sieges and once we have, we're basically set to, uh, to finish this war in the east. So we'll see how it goes. We are finally at Admin Tech 20 with which allows me an absolute monarchy, which I already have, and also a republican dictatorship, which uh, we'll most likely not get. But we're also f or nearing the end of uh, of this war. All that remains is for these two sieges to end, then we'll also make peace with, uh, I think, up here too. So uh, with that in mind, we'll start to siege some more, because I believe I need 91 war score here, 100 on this one, and 90 or something with what I want for Iagorn. So, uh, We'll just get our asses in gear and uh, and get this over with, I guess. So we'll see how how it turns out. As you can see, we have now finished the uh, Rambo War, and we'll be forcing them to release Mycen. And I'm pretty sure that I can actually uh, through Kingdom. There are Catholics, so uh, we'll go for royal marriage and everything, and vassalize them. As you can see, they'll most likely uh, they'll most likely accept that. So uh, we can do so without having any qualms about it. We'll simply have to wait for the finishing of uh, Hungary here. Pretty sure they will accept any deal that I give them pretty soon. We want 91 as you can see so uh, we'll have to keep going for a little while longer. In terms of that I should potentially also go ahead and do this and these guys to uh, to help a little bit with, uh, with the sieges so we can get this done uh, before too long. Also with, uh, with my here we'll probably want to send someone to improve our nations pretty soon. And we'll do the same with Ragusa. We'll have a little bit of issue there because we'll be going over, or pretty much over our uh, limits here. But Pomerania, Wales will be uh, annexed ASAP, uh, probably Bosnia too. So we don't really have that many problems. It'll simply be for uh, a year or three. Uh, we'll also most likely, I think I'll actually go ahead and take this idea. Excellent uh, experienced diplomats, which gives diplomatic reputation plus three. It'll help with the, the vastization business. And so forth, as you can see here, it gave me another three. We are at uh, 12, so it should give me 1.2% uh, a month simply in the reputation. So uh, we'll have to see how that turns out. I'll split this army in half because otherwise they'll be getting attrition thanks to uh, thanks to my guys being a little bit too interested in, uh, in well, staying close, I guess I should say. So yeah, we'll be, as I said, finishing the sieges here, and once we have, we are basically set to. Uh, get things going. We're also resieging these. Herat has become one of our promises. Let's see if we can actually force Khorasan now to do what we want. Hand Barakshan to Afghanistan. Apparently I can't actually force them to uh, to hand anything to well whom I want them to hand it to. So I might actually have to go here for, uh, for a simple one which is annexation and then sell. So uh, with that in mind 
will most likely end this war now. So all that remains then is to full ending it against Hungary. Yeah, we'll have to go for a full annexation here. Which is, well, a little bit too bad since it'll give me... Uh, I'll have a huge causation against me in this area, but even so we should be uh, should be just fine. We'll be annexing both of these, not surprisingly. And there we go. I should potentially have waited just a little bit uh, longer to make sure that I wouldn't get too overextended, but even so we are just fine as it is. We'll have to wait for Diplomat, then we'll end the war with the Timurids, and that's it I think. We'll also uh, hopefully get done with Hungary soon, they are, a little bit, they are way too stubborn, so uh, we'll have to see how this turns out already. Equalization, or people entering it again. Uh, Polotsk, no, they're not entering the Equalization, but even so, he kinda has a point. So uh, yeah, I'll get on with this, end it, and then we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we'll do. Hungary is finally seeing eye to eye with us, and thus we can uh, we can force them to uh, to do what we want. So we'll send demands to have them release Ragusa and also give Bosnia a couple of provinces here. I think I'll send these or have these guys come home. No reason to really improve uh, relations even further now, because well, it's uh, it won't help. We. Uh, We'll have to uh, we'll have to do something with this. So I'll be keeping these guys in this area. We will be declaring war, as you know. On uh, I have no idea if I can actually send these or sell these to these guys, but uh, we'll have to see. Potentially, I can. Uh, hopefully, I can at least get rid of some of these. If not, I'll have to release the vassal here. Who gives a Sind apparently. Yeah, it seems that Sind is the best choice. They can actually take everyone but this one. So releasing Sin to this area could potentially be the best thing to do, but uh, as I said, we'll be for trying Bosnia, uh, Pomerania and Wales will be on the NX uh, plan, so, for, so to speak, and hopefully we can get them uh, get them annexed pretty soon. Also we can, these guys are a little bit too high, or a little bit too annoying, so to speak, so yeah, we'll go for, <laughs> we'll simply force them to concede defeat, and we'll be waiting now for I go on to uh, get done here. We'll most likely have to sit by on the sidelines a little bit here since well uh, I'll be in trouble in terms of diplomats because of well what I have been doing now. So there we go 500 extra ducats and boom we are done. Castile will also be uh, another one that we'll try to get our friends with. We'll be friendly with Meissen, Ragusa and Castile. So while we try to get them to actually be our vassals, we'll start the uh, annexation process of these people. It will actually take a while, it seems. Mughals left military causation uh, for some reason. But even so, I will start the uh, the annex here as soon as, as soon as possible, even though it seems it will actually take a little while to, uh, to get things going. So yeah, we'll, we'll, try to, uh, we'll try to as soon as possible. Pomerania can't actually start here either. So... Uh, We'll be sending gifts and basically bribing them to, to the point where we can start. Bosnia, however, should be ready. They are. So I should potentially have choos chosen them first. An next vassal, 153 a month. War exhaustion is currently slowing me down a little bit. So we'll reduce that. But uh, with this, we should be uh, we should be fine to go. I'll also consider whom else I want to uh, to get an next. I'll also try to get my troops in. Uh, well, I'll get them back in order. Because as of now, I have a lot of... I have them very, a very weird setup in terms of troops numbers and such. So I'll be joining them up and creating new 20,000 men armies, basically getting a a better, better control of things. And also we'll be dealing with uh, these rebels so forth. So expect two or three years now of peace. We should go off the Great Britain again pretty fast, but they are in the colonization, so um, we'll probably have to wait just a little, a tiny little while. Uh, by Santium, I don't know if I actually want to annex them yet, so we'll decline that one, we'll decline that one too, simply because we have begun already. So, uh, getting these two up into uh, positives will be our most important goal. Secondly, is getting Ragusa and uh, Ragusa, Mason, and everyone uh, happy enough so that it will actually be allowed to vassalize them. And Rather than that, we'll simply have to see how, how things goes. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to uh, to get these guys as vassals, and then we can annex it. So basically, Europe will be a half peaceful game in terms of I will be releasing nations and then using them to uh, 
take control, but Great Britain is starting to cause me a lot of trouble here. England? Wait a minute, is England actually colonizing for me? Yeah, they actually are. Is this also... Yeah, that's actually England, not Great Britain. What the hell am I missing? Wow, that's actually... England, I'll, I'll keep them, because I believe they all actually, ha actually have colonizing ideas. It seems like they have, at least. So we'll be going after Great Britain to... Pretty soon, actually, to just uh, add to them, I guess. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. But for now, this will be the end. I made this a little bit longer than, than the usual. Once again, I apologize, but... Uh, it's been fun at least, so I'll be trying now, as I said, to try and get my troops into, uh, well, uh, some sort of controlled unions again, get them uh, get them fixed, and I'll probably also send an army or three over to, uh, over to uh, Asia to try and keep a control here. We also have to sell some provinces once we have one of these guys free. Or I should actually have one of those guys free simply for the purpose of selling provinces. So who can I? This guy can. Do you know what? I think. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, it's actually so far away. That's the problem. That it'll take forever to actually get something done. So Afghanistan, sell a province. How long will it actually take? I'll simply do a little bit of checking here. It actually take about four months to just have him go there, sell a province, then get his house back. So I'll send the sell the other one. Uh, no, I'll simply start the annexation, I think. We we should be able to survive for as long as the annexation takes. It's already on 10. It actually takes 5 years. Wow. I'll see if I can get a diplomatic reputation guy. I actually have a diplomatic reputation guy. That's kind of bad. Yeah, we'll we'll have to deal with this. We simply have too many uh, vassals as, <laughs> as things are now. So we need to uh, we need to lower that amount. So for now, focus on getting uh, vassals integrated will be our uh, our top priority, I think. And next, this guy as well, 160. So we'll go a little bit faster, 20%, five years. Pomerania will follow suit, and Meissen uh, reduce. So once we actually vassalize these guys, we'll have the uh, diplomats free. So until then, we'll we'll just let it roll, I guess. We should also go after Poland, I think, integrate them. So. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll start with that. But uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.